Hello everyone and welcome to some Mr. FPGA news. This week we will be talking about the Nintendo 64 core, the Mars FPGA project, the Sega Saturn core, and more. So let's get to it. There is a wiki page that documents the results of various emulators and hardware using test ROMs for the Game Boy Advance. Included are test results for the Mr. FPGA too. So if you're interested on how Mr. fares with other software emulators, then check out the page. The Nintendo 64 Core's controller handling protocol was updated to be more timing accurate. As a result, Body Harvest, Mischief Makers, and Extreme G started working. There are probably other games that were affected by this change too. Also, the film grain effect in Star Fox 64 is now implemented. Robert mentions that this completes all of the video interface processing features. If you want to know the technical details of the Nintendo 64's video interface, then you can read a great article Robert created on Patreon. Some RDP bugs causing graphical glitches were also fixed, making even more games playable. There's a huge difference in playing Puzzle Bobble 64 now. And we also got a look at a tool that's being used to debug the core in simulation. This tool gives some insight on how things are drawn. Wizzle's NFC script has a new front end thanks to Ziggurat. We were previously shown a work in progress front end that can browse and write games to NFC tags straight from your mister. Now that interface is officially available. Other new features include the ability to craft custom commands, manage the mappings, and support for LEGO Dimension tags has been added by GazJ. The script is also available through Update All, so make sure to enable Wizzle extensions in the Update All settings. If you want an overview of the NFC script, then check out my video covering it. You can also support Wizzle on Patreon. Not only did he develop the NFC script, but he also developed other useful scripts to help manage your mister, and even developed a phone app to control many functions of the mister. I really recommend you check out his stuff. You can now use Update All script to download the Sega Saturn core, so it should start showing up in your console section once you update. There have been a lot of updates to the core and lots of more games are working now, so check it out. If you want more info on the Mars FPGA project directly from the Mars team, Pixel Cherry Ninja has a couple of videos for you. One video talks about questions that Pixel Cherry Ninja posed to the Chief Operations Officer. Another video takes viewer questions that were answered by the Mars team. So that's it for this episode. I provided links to all my sources in the description. Make sure you also check out RetroRGB.com to see my Mr. News videos in blog form and to get more retro related content. And if possible, support them on Patreon too. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a like. And if you want to see more content like this, hit the subscribe button and hit the bell icon so you can get notified of future videos. Thanks for watching and I'll speak to you next time.